وإذ أخذنا ميثاقكم ورفعنا فوقكم الطور خذوا ما آتيناكم بقوة واذكروا ما فيه لعلكم تتقون The sons of Israel and the Israelites are the most bringing excuses for the prophets. And the prophets were the most bringing and showing miracles for their people. Because on one side, there are the lowly people, reluctant people, hesitant people to accept the words of God for they themselves. On the other side, there are the kind and soft-hearted, benevolent, munificent prophets that were caring about them a lot. Just a very kind father, very kind mother. As if they want to drag him to heaven, he doesn't want. <laughs> the heaven is waiting for them. They are not waiting for him. This is a big tragedy. Sometimes you, you say a message, a good message to somebody he understands. He takes it. Sometimes he doesn't know about the message at all. Sometimes he doesn't know that there is a great paradise out there. This is Jahilul Qasir. This is somebody that is neglectful about the message, about the knowledge, about what is good for him or her, because he has not heard about it. Not because he has heard about it, but he doesn't want to follow it. Jahilul Muqassir is the one who has heard about the story, but his heart does not accept it. His heart cannot go for it because he knows that if it goes for something good, spiritually good, he has to step back and refrain from something which is dunya -i, mundane and corporeal thing in dunya. So between the two, those people who are jahilul muqassir, this is the factor, this is the criterion that why don't they follow the words of God, though they have heard about it. There is a clash between the two, mind and heart. Their mind says to them, yes. Their heart says to them, no. Ali Bukhari is listening to our program from the car, from inside the car. <laughs> How are you, brother? Alhamdulillah. Alaikum. Just going to work. <laughs> <laughs> MashaAllah. <laughs> so, welcome, brother. This is the point, dear brothers and sisters, that there is a clash between the mind and the heart. The mind accepts, he says, yes, absolutely logical and rational. But the heart says no. You know why he says no? Because the heart says yes. If I say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah Ashhadu anna aliyyan waliyullah, there will be hardships. There will be some limitations and some con constraints in my life. This is why. You have to understand, my dear brothers and sisters, you have to judge people around you. Al-mu'minu kayyis. This is where I have said this thousands of times to my brothers and sisters. If a true Muslim must be able to judge, not judge wrongly, but judge correctly and truly, you know? That's, that's very important. Allah wa ta'ala gives us a criterion. And the criterion is for us to judge. How do you want to know a munafiq from a true faith, faithful person? He cannot do it unless you try to judge it. You, you, you will be able to judge it. How do you know that who is the faithful person right now? There are different sects right now in the world. Muslims, non-Muslims. Inside Muslims, there are different sects. Which one? Which person? You have to be able to judge through the factors. Al-mu'minu kayyis. Mu'min is the man of cognition, understanding. Basira. Understanding between the right and wrong, not only among the people, but also among the criteria 